Hey guys, today we're gonna be doing something really fun. I am gonna use gouache and watercolor together in one painting. I have this photo of Amanda Seyfried in what I think is from Les Miserables. I love this photo so much and I want to capture that emotion as well as the color palette. I it's different from my usual colors that I normally would go for. I usually like to add at least one very vibrant color that's in the primary colors for my paintings. So it's going to be interesting to see if I can achieve this color palette because I don't even know what colors to mix for these ones. I'm using my Bao Hong papers again. It's nice and smooth and great for sketching. I'm also going to be using my favorite brushes ever, the Artist's Loft set of brushes that I have. My watercolors are a mixture of both my Mijello Mission Gold Pure Pigment set and the Sennelier 5 color set, which is courtesy of my Reddit Secret Santa. Thank you so much for that, Santa. Um, and I'm also pulling out my Mia Jelly Gouache for this one. By the way, I'm using new brushes for these initial layers, and these are these brushes I got from Simi Art, which I, I really can't recommend. It doesn't hold that much water and also it doesn't glide smoothly on the paper which is weird because this one is hot pressed so it's nice and smooth. It feels like the bristles are made of some kind of plastic that grips into the paper. So I don't know, it's just a weird texture for me. By the way, I really like keeping the palettes in the frame because when I was first starting out, I was really curious about how artists mix their watercolors and I want you guys to see how I go about doing it. But if it's only too distracting, just tell me and we can keep that out of the frame for future videos. So if you guys aren't familiar with my channel, I am mostly used to watercolors and I've had troubles with gouache in the past. Uh, the things that I don't like so much about gouache is that for one, it's very hard to get flat washes with it and it doesn't layer as well as watercolors because you risk reactivating layers underneath when you layer too much. But what I do like about gouache is that you have the freedom to go from, from dark to light and vice versa. And now that I've thought about it, it's also I think it's a good thing that the layers are easy to reactivate because that means it's easy to correct. For watercolors, which I am more used to, what I love about them is that they're very transparent. So you see all those nice layers underneath every time you add more. It's very easy to get flat layers with watercolors. They mostly just go where the water goes. and. You can go as many layers as you want, which I really, really love. I also think it's easier to get a more expressive style with watercolors. But what I don't like about them is that you have to go from light to dark. Because they're so transparent, that's just how they work. And another thing that's hard about them is that they're very difficult to correct. You can go over the paper with just some water and you can try to lift some of those colors but this way you risk damaging your paper. So yeah, it's very hard to correct your mistakes with watercolors. So in my video where I struggled so much with gouache, someone suggested that I should do the initial layers with watercolors and then go over it with gouache, which honestly was seemed really brilliant, but I always thought it wouldn't work. They, these two things are just too different, I felt like. It would still look like a full gouache painting and I don't want that for this piece. I'm gonna try as hard as I can to get a result that looks like it's highlighting the qualities that make the mediums what they are. 
So my goal for this piece is to have it look like it's both a gouache and a watercolor painting. I want it to be loose and expressive, which is the look that you would normally associate with watercolors. But I also wanted to have nice and striking details with gouache. So to make as much of this painting look, look like it's also a watercolor piece, I'm not only laying down the base colors with wa with watercolors, I'm also basically doing the whole piece with it. Just because I think it's easier to set a mood with watercolors, I only want to use the gouache to add some details. But I also want to add enough of those details to make it look like it's also a gouache piece. So I haven't used watercolors in so long that it feels like I just really sat back and enjoyed this part. Um, I really liked laying down the colors. I was trying to get a feel for what I want the overall piece to look like. I'm not being too adventurous with the colors on this piece. I mostly just want to stick with what I see in the reference photo. But I am heavily inspired by one of the colors that came with my Sennelier set. It's called Chinese Orange and I think it's so beautiful. And I only really needed to adjust everything around that color. The only part about this color choice that feels a little out of left field was the green that I added to offset everything else when the whole painting starts to feel too singular. I've never been this comfortable using gouache. A lot of the frustration that I had when I was using it feels like it's gone. And now I'm only just enjoying it for what it is, which is nice for a change. One thing with gouache though that I keep on forgetting to mention is that the gouache is also harder to clean on the brush than just watercolors. So that's why colors aren't always vibrant because you use white to make them lighter instead of just using pure pigment and water. The same goes for the darker colors, I think. If you add black, it's very hard to get different variations of that black, which just overpower every other color. Another reason why you have to really make sure your brush is clean after you're using black is that the back on this set is very cool toned so if your color palette is a little bit warmer it will really muddy up all of your other colors and they'll have this really um, ashy short sort of shift to them which I don't think looks good at least for this piece so that's one thing that's also hard about gouache I'm really liking how the lighter wisps of her hair ended up looking. I'm zooming you guys in so you can see things a little bit clearly, but I'll be zooming out again later to see so you guys can see what the whole painting looks like. By the way, you guys, I'm also using a new brush and it's a flat brush that comes with a silicone feeling like thing on the other end, which is something that I that you can use to add different textures on your paintings, which I really like the brush on this one. It soaks up a lot of water unlike the one that I started with for this painting. And I really love the texture that flat brushes add for gouache. It took a while for me to get the exact colors of her hair just right. Some areas looked too yellow and others looked a little too washed out because of the white that I added to them. I, I feel like adding green really helps a lot of that out.
I'd say that the hardest thing about this whole piece was just restraint. I'm tempted to overwork a few areas like I normally do, especially when it comes to the face. And also, I w kind of want to make some parts like the background be super, super dark and even go over the whole thing with my brush pens like, like I do with most of my work. But I want to avoid doing that because I want the overall look of this piece to not look to not look too graphic uh, i want it to look a bit a little bit dreamy i guess would be the best word to describe what i want it to look like i don't really know if i achieved that but i still really like the outcome of this whole piece so yeah i really enjoyed this painting i hope you guys did too thank you guys for watching and i'll see you again soon